Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another game of Napoleon Total War. Continuing the Russian campaign, or the campaign with my Russian army. Uh, following just the one army through the entire campaign. This is the same army two months, or sorry, a month later. We have been reinforced. Some fresh cavalry units. We've got the 9th Light Cavalry, the Pavlograd Hazars, an elite cavalry unit. We've also got some Kurassia, which are heavy cavalry. Armour-plated heavy cavalry and some elite light cavalry over on my right wing. We still have the red standard of regiments of musketeers. Two batteries of 12-pounders. My general staff back here, a reserve regiment. Third, Pavlos Pavlos Pavlovsk Grenadiers forming my reserve. Another battery of 12 pounders here. Now we have caught a French, sorry, a Spanish general. Completely by surprise. He's completely out of position. So it's wonderful that this has happened because we can hammer him before the French army comes to rescue him. As you can see, the French army there in the background moving up. Now it's not going to do an awful lot of good for this Spanish general. We are going to try and kill him. I do have my artillery trained on him and I want him dead. I'm dead now. Right now, this minute. In there, a couple of staff officers flying through the air there. Showing that man was not meant to fly. Indeed. Well, there we go. So general staff under fire. French army marching onto the battlefield. My army is just going to sit here and pound away at that Spanish general for a while. Now, what else do we have in my army? It is just basically musketeers. 7th with the 6th. Regiment of Musketeers. Sixth Regiment of Musketeers in one of my early games, in fact in several of my early games, sixth of the ones that seem to have fought left to form square. These are very good at forming square, so we have much more reg Regiment of Musketeers. I don't have the Regiments of Jaegers this time. I decided that I didn't want Jaegers anymore, they were just so much of a liability. Let's have a quick look at these elite cavalry. Indeed, part of the um, special download, the digital download, if you buy the, I think it's the Imperial set, you get special units, and one of them is the Pavlograd Hussars, elite cavalry, as I've said before. Over on the other flank, what have we got cavalry-wise on the other flank? I have a second regiment of Kirassia and a, another regiment of Hussars. So we do have some ca heavy cavalry, a mixed heavy and light cavalry on each flank. Always a good idea to try and keep mixtures of your cavalry. Try not to have too many heavy cavalry in one place. Otherwise, that would be people find yourself unable to attack certain units effectively. Heavy cavalry, not that effective, surprisingly, against light cavalry. Light cavalry just tend to dodge out the way. I'm now having a pop at these <laughs> troops here. 15 Chasseurs de Chevelle. French cavalry, which light cavalry don't like them very much. Also have like, this horse artillery battery moving up. They are going to die very quickly, I hope. Shelling. Sorry, no, I'm not shelling, just losing formation. We are actually, actually, no, I lied. We are shelling this regiment of fusiliers, not doing an awful lot of damage. Also, opened fire on this regiment of chasseurs here, chasseurs de chevelle. Uh, artillery it seems a little unfair to use artillery against horses, but hey, that's just me. I don't play fair. It is total war, not pussyfooting around pretend war. Total War Utter Obliteration of Your Opponent is the name of the game. So my artillery being fairly ineffectual at the moment, and not too surprising. Not too surprising at all. Where are we? There we are. This is the view from my side. So I say I've got the two batteries of 12s. Don't have any of the Lycorns yet. I haven't researched Lycorns yet. I actually know I lie. I think I've actually got some 10s, but I, on one arm, in fact, I want to say I'm waiting to get the 20s. Before I actually deploy them in any serious numbers in an army. Musketeers all nice and ready. We're just going to speed things up just a little bit to get everybody into range. Get some fighting done. So yes, there goes that unit of cavalry. It will get shot at soon. Horse battery followings. Only six pounders to my twelves. I like those odds. So good numbers. Horses that being shelled. Not fair. Duff. I like to shoot horses with artillery, if I can. One of the things you should always remember when playing these games, and there's the first deaths on that regiment. Something to remember when playing Total War, particularly Napoleon Total War, as that is what I really like and specialise in, is that your basic musketeer unit 
is actually quite resilient. It will stand there for and take quite a lot of punishment. Getting lots of elite units like grenadiers and guards and everything is very nice, but it's also very expensive to build in a campaign game. Is they're very expensive to build, usually quite limited as well. Um, but they are sometimes worth having. But having plenty of regular infantry is the name of the game. That is the way to win this kind of game. Right, we slow back down again. We do have some casualties now coming in on the Chasseurs of Chevelle. Will the Chasseurs of Chevelle launch a charge against my line? Ah, and look, they are, they are one the Chevron troops. We've got the little uh, trickler symbol there. One ah, oh, nice. Ah, that was a lot of damage. And my infantry have two Chevrons. My artillery has three chevrons. My artillery is very experienced. My infantry are quite experienced. So we are going to be doing some nice damage here. Uh, the uh, Chasseurs of Chevelle on the other flank did round. We do try a shot back at my infantry. The Not. Uh, they killed four of my men, but I've wiped, wiped them out. They are now effectively no longer combat workers. In the meantime, the infantry on this flank have started to move up. Chasse to say the chasse of the Chevelle, they were dealt with by my artillery. I'm not going to be one time and try and show you that because I can't. I'd have to start the whole battle all over again. It's not going to happen. Right, 6th Regiment. Oh, and it does look like if I'm lucky that it's going to flank onto my guns. Since I'll be firing down the line of my infantry. See, flying through the thickest part of the line, it does more damage. Oh, nice flank shot. Not the best flank shot that's in this game, if I remember where it is. Further closer. Beautiful! That's why you want flank shots on infantry. They have just taken out most of that regiment in one shot. Some of these guys will get back up. I've never worked out how good chaps get back up after being hit by a but apparently they can. So anyway, that regiment has already lost a third of its number from my artillery fire. They're not doing particularly well in the number up against the infantry. Indeed not, no. Right, we're down to one side, then they've barely done anything. The militia here are forming up. They're going to try and overlap my line a little bit. It does rely on this regiment of fusiliers pinning the front of my infantry in place. Now, I do have that some guard here. Hopefully, they will be able to do something exciting very, very soon. In the meantime, the first regiment of fusiliers down to less than half strength trying to put up a fight. It's trying to indeed put up a fight. Don't last for very long. They've just taken so many casualties, they've lost over 100 men already. And now I just have this regiment of militia that is going to cause me. More French units marching out. French units stop the number of the full line. Before they come up to this regiment of militia. Second point of cheap and available everywhere. I must have competition with my regular infantry. So I'm down to 139 men, they're down to 135, so it's kind of even at the moment. Don't link those kind of odds. I really should be bringing my cavalry in and hit them in the flank. In the meantime, the French have deployed their artillery over here. Not but they've deployed their artillery. I should really send some cavalry out to deal with those as well, as that artillery is very, very exposed. French general now being shot at by my artillery. In the meantime, my cavalry still haven't done anything about these militia. Which is around 121, the rest of 124 are musketeers. Being on the high ground does give them slight advantage. Now, let's see what we have here. And here it comes. This is going to end very, very badly for the musket. Oh, sorry, for the militia, even though they're going to jump, now forming up. They're not going to form up fast enough, I don't believe. And I am a big man and big heavy person, and I am a go into the line, smash through their line quite comfortably. And begin to butcher those infantry already down below half strength. And well, I'm just have saved the day yet again. Butchered that infantry regiment, but my line is now safe. And the French are just mo milling around here trying to work out what they're going to be doing. Now, I'm not entirely sure what my opponent was thinking. Believe it or not, this is computer controlled. 
sorry, I'm sorry, human control. It's not computer control, it is human control. I think my opponent got confused as to what on earth he was doing. He has been out in Iraq for the last four months, sorry, last two months. So he has not been able to play this game, so to play it for real. Apparently it's a lot less fun. So let Jim Gladbach say. My French general has taken a few casualties. French artillery is still sat over here, not doing an awful lot to me, but I'm not doing anything to him. He's putting shells over my head, he has not really done any damage at all. So, yep, that's fine. Oh, that's good. Now, what's my artillery doing? Again, not a lot of damage either. So, we're really, we're going to have the French march forwards. Got a couple of guys, but nothing serious in there. About 43 of foot there, they have some experience. And of course, this 9th Regiment of Foot, I think it's all the 9th Regiment of the Battle of Munich, I think mean, one of the regiments that got away there. The French are now marching forwards. Over on this flank. Whee! Turn the camera all the way around. Right, my cuirassier have they lost 10 men, but they have fallen back to their original positions, ready for the next round. Now, the question is I have here. My artillery is not doing very much. Should I actually be pushing forward with my infantry? Trying to take him out, I don't know. French artillery. And here is my cavalry finally coming to do something about the French cavalry. French artillery. French horse artillery not going to last very long once the cavalry get in a moment. One of my favourite things to do with my light cavalry, and this is exactly why I have light cavalry. Oh, two things one, taking out gun batteries, and two, chasing down the units. Heavy cavalry are there for breaking units so that they start breaking them after them. Excellent, that is dealt, has dealt with that horse battery there. Uh, a bit dead. They seem to have the troops routing even when they are all dead. Now, what is happening with the French? Uh, French infantry are retreating. I think they're forming a new firing line back here. I'm not entirely sure why there are still troops moving forwards. You know, the French are kind of redeploying. I'm not sure where the French are redeploying to. I think we're going to try and redeploy and speed things back up again just so we can get some interesting combat. And I think we do want to watch mass manoeuvring of troops just at the moment. Artillery shelling coming in from my artillery, obviously. It wouldn't be from my chickens. Right, see artillery continuing to put some shells down. Can we get any flank shots on these regiments? No, it does not appear so. French general there so it has taken casualties. French marshalling their forces. Oh my, hussars marching back to their original start position, having taken care of that artillery. And what else do we have? That really does appear to be it. It just seems to be an awful lot of manoeuvring now by the French. Coming under fire from my artillery. Now really, they should be closing, trying to close the range. Get close and up close and personal. They desperately need to stop my force, at least need to weaken it significantly so their follow-on force under Napoleon can actually come in and crush my troops. That is the plan anyway. Now the French do have two regiments of two battalions coming in, going to try and do some damage. Now they've crushed to the top of the hill, my artillery can start firing actually on them, which is going to cause them a few problems. This, a house I've already knocked down. Looks like I've knocked down the houses quite in a nice firing line towards my enemy. Looks like this house is going to be next. And now my infantry are on the move. My army is on the move. My army is on the move to here. This is where I'm deploying to. So I will be able to capture him. Ca sorry, catch him in the flank. He's now he's bringing his main army in through the centre here. Switch to grape shot. Get some grape shot firing onto these. Fusilier's Fusilier is not going to withstand a grape shot on the flanks and muskets in the f in the front, so it's all going to go badly for them. They're not going to stand up for this for very long. No, indeed, there they go, routing already. French infantry trying to push forwards here. I'm going to actually go run into my musket line. That's fine with me. I'm going to tra trade musket shots with my infantry. That's what my infantry are there for. It is not all about the artillery in this game. As much as some people would have you believe, it is also about... Over here, what we have here? Right. Okay, 
fighting me at the end of the tree and I've got two more patches of that by the Anton. Oh, and the general coming in as well. My infantry is surviving quite nicely. My infantry battalion here, 27th Regiment, are not doing so well. My infantry is about to march up here. I've redeployed. I've even redeployed my artillery. Artillery is redeploying it to the top of this hill. This is not going well for the Russians. Sorry, for the French at all. It's going brilliantly for the Russians. Thank you very much. Thank you for Unfortunately, my usual weakness of my gun line once again going to be the sticking point. And unfortunately, the Nazi Rush is very well. I've already lost one gun. Another batch is now going to get hurt as well. So, two regiments of French. One of the regiments does a break up on that. The other one soon follows it. And now the artillery is retreating. I have eight men left. And he's retreating. The French artillery is still firing full strength. And I also have my cuirassier ready to move in and should give a flank charge. In the meantime, disaster of disasters. The French general has chewed, is now chewing up my infantry regiment. He's charged the infantry regiment and chewing them up quite nicely. Thank you very much for that chance. Should be killing his general. My hussars, my elite hussars though, are going to come to the rescue, I hope, and shoot the general to pieces. For some reason, there are French officers here not being shot at by my regiment. And here comes my hussars into his general. Butcher his general very quickly and then move into the rear of his infantry. Infantry might be a simple fork square, not that close to my infantry, and run in front of my cannon. It would be suicide. We have going on down here. The French general has been killed yet again. Can my artillery get off any shots before this regiment? I don't think so. Do I have to move a regiment of infantry in this cover? I don't know. There we go. Now I'll get back. Hazard are doing. My Hazard fell back. Having wiped out his general. My battalion here on the hill. Somewhat devastated. Still not far in front of it. Exchanging a blue shot for this regiment, as usual is. I do have cavalry available. What we have over here more manoeuvring forward for my units. I'm now actually going to go trying to get the surround on my enemy. Yes, I am going to use Starcraft two turns for this. I'm going to surround my opponent. Charge at that cavalry, sorry, that infantry regiment on the back. More French units still holding on. First regiment. And that really is about it. I have a regiment of foot here. But they're getting put to the bar my infantry as well. So it's not going well at all for the for the French at all. No indeed. This is the battle for Stuttgart, by the way, this winter time. So Stuttgart is gonna fall. And it will be mine. So yes, looks like another successful day out for the Russians. Very hard for the Russians to actually lose. The Russians have very, very good artillery now. This army is coming together quite nicely. All the units are on the side of the Artillery now firing into this regiment, causing it to rout. Infantry firing as well, butchering these routing troops. That have been right in front of a full, uh, sorry, a mostly full strength regiment of foot was routing it, was asking for casualties. Regiment foot down to 10, this unit here down to 45. That does look to be about it. So, with no further ado, so you guys, thank you very much. I've been Havoc. I will indeed. Catch you guys on the flip side.